having real conversations for you. That's you know right. how we do it. We got somebody and, else, man. We got somebody oh, wait, else. Oh, wait. Where? Oh, there he is. Come on, Mr. Man. Cope in the house. What's Come on, up, man. Bro? Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, this is how we roll, man. This, this is how we roll, man. This is all good, man. Nice. This is all. We, we into his house. So in case y'all don't know, if you're watching this live right now, YouTube, Facebook, all that kind of good stuff, we record our radio show on Mondays. And then, uh, and so we stream that as well, but then we come back on Tuesdays and for all of you in the back of the room, we do a 30 minute version of the 60 minute conversation that we had on Monday. And so the radio show that we recorded, uh, this last Monday will air live KLDC 1220 AM in the mile high city, um, this coming weekend and all that kind of stuff. So man, it was so nice. We had to do it twice, man. Yes, sir. We had to have our guy back, man. We had to have our guy back. We have though in the house, the one and only. The one and only, you can see his name on the screen if you watch it, is Mr. Rob Cope. How you doing, sir? I'm doing awesome, guys. Thank you for oh, having nice. me again. This was so fun. Well, you know, that we got to take is... care of the millennials, too. You know, we got to make sure we do mm-hmm. give them a 30-minute thing because their attention span yeah. are as long as this old folk. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. They got like goldfish, goldfish attention span out there, kind of right. thing, man. And so, That's right. you know, the whole point of this, the whole point of this conversation this week is the, the whole notion, the idea that especially as a man, when you walk into a room, you start talking before you open your mouth and you start talking by your look, your presentation, by what you're saying about yourself before you say anything. You know, after our conversation yesterday, it dawned on me when I was driving home that especially as a man, the world and especially women treat you in the way that you show up. Uh Mm -hmm. Smoke that for a minute and see if you get high on that one. Let, let that settle in. I mean, let that settle in. Because as a man, when you show up, however we show up, if we show up soft and gentle and all that kind of stuff, then the world and especially women around us treat us that way. If we show up in, in our confidence, if we show up in our in our strength, if we show up in our masculine, if we show up in our professional, our casual, whatever you want to call it, then that's how the world generally t- tends to treat us, man. And so it's important how we walk into the room. Am I wrong? Not at all. Not here. Absolutely right. So right into this. So that's the whole point of this whole thing, man. That's why we're having this conversation. And and so, Rob, you are a style guru uh, expert in this field, man. And we don't have long to get into it tonight, man. But really quick, man, yeah. shall share with us a little bit about your background and then who you work with in terms of the company you represent and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Yeah, I'd always been interested in clothing. And uh, a long time, time ago, I was told that everything I own is beige. And that wasn't a good color for me. So I changed my ways a little, got more into it, and then just always enjoyed something that fit well and felt good, right? So got into this uh, 11 years ago with a company called Jay Hilburn. We're a direct-to-men uh, company who is based in Dallas, and we come to you with uh, your either in your office, your house, a uh, neutral location like a coffee shop or a hotel lobby do some measurements, look at some styles, look at some fabrics and decide based on how the guy wants to look. It's all about them, right? It's all about the client, how they want to feel, what kind of, uh, you know, image they're trying to portray. That's what I try to help them with. And see, there's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of help from a genius, a professional, the guru himself to get you set up style wise. I know a lot of times, I mean, you look at some of the, uh, guys out there who have been you know top of their fields so like that a lot of them you know and of course their excuse is brain power they're like i only wear a black shirt and jeans and the same i wear the same thing every day and they say oh i don't want to put brain power on what i'm wearing well it sounds like what you do is simplify that process so that you have this palette of this these are the things that, that we're, we're creating for your style and we can put this up so your closet is now coordinated and you can mix and match all those things and and really making a guy's life easier and more stylish. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. My goal is to, of course, get into some guy's closet, take a look at what they've already got and do what I call complement and coexist. Right. So we We already said you're not getting my closet. So that's right. (laughs) right. Uh (laughs) Yeah. And to, and to coordinate, right. We don't want to match necessarily. We don't look, you know, gar animals or uh, underoos or whatever you have. I'm probably too young to remember that Jason, but anyway, uh, you know, that's where I come in and, and make suggestions, right? It's uh, it's good for uh, me uh, to have an opinion, right? Because I can be a neutral source. Um, I'm not trying to step in between a guy and his significant other, 
but I'm just trying to make recommendations uh, based on what they already have. And then, and then we go from there. And the key is not to buy a lot of clothing, right? But just to buy better clothing, maybe a couple of key items will just help that guy start the wheels turning and get that going. So you're talking quality over quantity, like having things that are exactly. of high quality that are going to last you a long time that you can mix and match with other things. That's exactly it. I yep. like it. Yeah. Yeah. So and you know, I'm, a big, present... I'm a big, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say to present different styles, but also different fabrics, right? So wools, cottons, you know, tech fabrics that we look at, you know, from golf pants, you know, those kind of, uh, all those kind of Lululemon styles that are coming out with those, uh, those technical fabrics. So it's yeah. making sure they have a good blend of that. So I'm a big fan of, uh, of coach prime. Of course, we got him out here in, in Colorado now, university yeah. of Colorado. And, uh, one of his famous sayings is look good, feel good, feel good. You play good, you play good, they pay good. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and so, you know, it, it, I think it is, and we've talked about this yesterday. It is a matter of when you do look good, when you present yourself well, when you're stepping out in all of your drip, all of your splendor, when you when you got that swag going on, you walk into the room with that. And then, you know, and then you feel good with that. And then when you feel good, you, your performance is better at whatever it is. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. I have personally seen that. Uh, and it's such a joy, right? You slip a jacket onto a guy who's never had something that fits well and it's a nicer quality wool and or you know a pair of trousers that you know maybe the guy's got a tough fit and he, he, he puts them on and you just see the lights go you know the, the the countenance as i call it in his in his face just uh is so much different so absolutely it prepares us for the day and it makes us more confident yeah it definitely makes a huge difference i know like Coming up, I brought my first couple of suits from like JC Penney's, and I still got one in the closet next to the suits I got fitted. And you know, they're not quite as Jay Hilburn quality, but you know, since I got them tailored a little bit, they they do fit better, and it does. It, it makes you yeah. feel a certain way because I know I went through. I had a whole weekend event. I went through my tailored suits, and I decided on the last day I'd wear that JC Penney's one. So I'm like, it's not that mm -hmm. bad. And then I got there, I'm like, I feel like I'm swimming in this thing. I feel, you know, old man, 80s style. This suit's just huge. And, and it does make you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. I, I've always said, like, I'd rather have somebody with, you know, a $500 suit that fits perfectly than a $4,000 suit that fits terribly. You know, because that's what that's what guys are going to, people are going to notice, right? Is, hey, it fits. It feels good. I'm confident. So I absolutely agree. So it's not even about just what you have is what you wear is how you wear it as well. Mm -hmm. Meaning mm -hmm. how it fits you, how you fit it. You're not trying to create like fashion zombies out here where everybody's <laughs> looking the same. You're talking about kind of right. molding what a guy is, who a guy is into what, how he presents who he is and how he wants to be perceived in different, different settings and different scenarios. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. We look at, you know, who, who's the guy's social circle? Who is he trying to dress uh, and level up, as you called it, right? How are we going to get that guy to the next level? And so we look at, you know, whether it's your occupation or your social circle or someone you're trying to meet uh, or, you know, just a, you're moving to a different state, you're moving to a different city, as we talked about yesterday, right? Denver's very casual. So we're trying to just elevate that a little bit, not necessarily um, make someone something they're not, right? But just give them ideas and, and, like I said, get those wheels turning about becoming that that a better fit and and looking and feeling more uh, like they they should. Yeah, my uh, my brother. I have a brother that lives in Atlanta, and I'm originally from the D.C. area. And man, you go back east, you know, man, yeah. you you know, it's it's a, it's a totally different game out there, man. It, it oh, just yeah. is, you know. It is it's um, you know, I mean, when you go out, I mean, do you 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 dress like. Yeah. You know, you can't get away with every flannel shirt they have in Costco. <laughs> I mean, which is half of my closet. I'm just going to be That's real. Right. Uh, yeah. But, but you know, you can, I mean, you guys to, you guys to represent when you go a lot of places. So, yeah, mm -hmm. even though Denver is casual, you know, not every place is like that. And either way, it's a great way to stand out in a casual town if you do live in Denver. Exactly. You know, it's a great yep. way to walk into the room like, oh, wait a minute, there's something different about this kid right here, this cat right That's here, right. man. He's kind of dope. Right. And so, it, yep. I mean, yep. it's it's one way to stand out, especially in this kind of town. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nikki, he brings up a good point. This is something I want to throw at you, Rob. We'll get into the tips and tricks. But if you're a single guy in the Denver mm-hmm. area mm-hmm. and you're out there dating and you're just dressed like everybody else, you're you're just making the same impression or a less mm-hmm. than you know favorable impression because you're just like everybody else. You're not standing out. So what are some of the right. tips and tricks that you have from your decades of experience being the style guru for somebody say who's dating or maybe going on a job interview or maybe just moved to town and wants to make an impression? Right. Great question. I love that. And I think it has to do with, uh, as I mentioned earlier, different fabrics. Uh, so play around with things like linen, uh, cotton and linen blends, wool and silk blends, um, you know, whether it's a shirt or a jacket, right? We have all these options with, with super high quality, but not overboard expensive. Uh, so playing around first with fabrics, then I would say with color, right? Let's get out of the traditional, you know, maybe uh, gingham or plaid shirt. And let's try something a little unusual, you know, whether it's a stripe or it's a, it's a wool knit. Um, it's a long sleeve polo that's been, you know, tailored to you. And it may have a contrast fabric on the inside of the collar or a different, you know, type of cuff. I love things like a guy wearing French cuffs, right, with cuff links and, you know, maybe a light sweater over that for a night on the town with, with uh, a special someone. Um, it makes a statement, right? So whether it's a sweater or a shirt or a jacket, playing around with color and fabric, I think, is really important. So I should leave my velvet track suit in the closet, maybe get the leisure suit out. What do you No, Dude. you know, I, I have to tell you, I, I saw a video yesterday and this guy was saying, you know, traditional classic menswear. I have this, I'll leave the brand name out, but this, this uh, track suit. And I was like, traditional menswear to go to a nice restaurant. And I, anyway, um, yeah. So let's, let's put the sweats away and, and the sweatshirt and, and try something new. But it's velvet. You know, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I, uh, you know, one of one of my favorite stores to shop at is something that you just mentioned. Actually, we didn't talk about this yesterday, but something that you just mentioned. One of my favorite stores to shop at is uh, Johnson and Murphy. You know, mm-hmm. that was my mm-hmm. first introduction to the tipping. You know, the 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 whole tipping concept, which is where you talk about the contrast and the collar and the sleeves and mm-hmm. inside the sleeves. You, you know, you flip the sleeve up and. You know, you kind of get that whole deal, man. That's the kind of stuff, you know, man. You know, when that when that peacock is walking around the zoo, man. Them, you know, when them when them feathers come out, man. Everybody kind of steps back and says, "Oh, you know that." First of all, first of all, the ones with the big shiny peacock feathers are the males. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, that that's that's nature speaking to us, man. So Mm -hmm. let's play let's play a quick game that we played yesterday. Um, I'm, you know, we'll we'll throw out a couple scenarios, and you kind of give some ideas of a different look that 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 a guy might want to consider in those different yeah. scenarios all right so job interview job interview i am just sold on the blue suit whether it's a uh, lighter blue if it's maybe spring or summer darker blue fall and winter i think that's just rock solid uh you know neutral it's not going to be uh outstanding it may not okay be the most memorable suit that you have but it's not going to be uh, out of place ever and it's just always going to be a great style to go with. And I would say with that, with brown leather shoes. All right. How about a, how about a first date? Ooh, good one. First date. I still am a big fan of the sport coat for a first date uh, and with a pocket square. So again, if you're going to a nice restaurant, one of my old colleagues said, why would you not want to look your best when you're with the one who means the most? So if you're trying to make that impression, the pocket square uh, and the sport coat guarantee you will get you a better table. Nice, nice. accessories, gentlemen. Nice accessories. What about right. a coffee date first date? Ooh, good one. Coffee date, I would say, you know, maybe a, a nice cable knit sweater over a button down shirt or something like, you know, we didn't talk about this yesterday, but like quarter zips, right? Quarter zip uh, sweatshirt or a full zip sweatshirt, uh, not not a hoodie. But uh, could be a hoodie if it's nice material. Again, if it's wool or if it's a very high quality cotton. Yeah, you could do that. Um, but just, you know, something that's tailored, obviously, you know, not just something that's got a, a big Under Armour, lo- Ooh, excuse me, Under Armour logo on it. <laughs> man, <laughs> or, you're killing uh, my wardrobe, other, man. <laughs> other sporting brands, you know, that's fine. But maybe for the coffee date, let's, uh, let's take the logos off. And the reason I brought up the coffee date is because we we work a lot with you know different kind of singles groups and organizations, and yeah. one of the feedbacks that that I hear 
uh, pretty often from women, uh, especially in the dating scene, is that when a guy shows up, he didn't put any effort into how he showed yep. up. So literally, he yep. didn't show up. Like he yes. showed up in, you know, looking like he was just hanging out for the day. And, and you know, and they say that, man, when he shows up like that, that means he's not going to put any effort into us. And right. so that, that's why I went right kind of into the into the whole dating thing, you know, pretty, yeah. pretty soon. Um, yeah. And, what do you think? and team, I agreed. And uh, oh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, but to no. team with that, I would say, you know, a nice pair of dark jeans with any of those outfits, even if they're lighter wash jeans, that's fine. But just again, if they fit well, they don't have holes in them. Uh, you didn't wear them mowing the lawn and, you know, match the shoes uh, with your look, right? You don't want to wear the, uh, you know, the sneakers that you're, you're playing basketball in, right? Let's, let's reserve, you know, if it's a, a dress sneaker, as we kind of talked about yesterday, like, uh, you know, it's got the white sole, uh, as long as they're clean, right? And, and preferably uh, they don't have stains on them. So, <laughs> you know, women do notice these things, nice belts, nice shoes, luggage, briefcase, very you're gonna definitely step it up we talked about that yesterday that's something i didn't think about you know how important shoes are to women in their closet mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we never think about they look at our shoes mm -hmm. we yeah. uh, we talked about that's it right. yesterday but i never thought about that like you know they freak out over shoes for them yeah. we never think about the fact that they look down at us and see what kind of shoes we got we got mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. yeah and i love the concept especially with shoes you know there's there's great ones out there like i mentioned yesterday the cole Haan grand zeros and other brands that have those kind of lightweight, really comfortable, great for travel, but also things like a Chelsea boot, a Chucka boot, you know, those kind of desert boots that guys are wearing now. Maybe they're not lace up, they're a slip on. Excellent style to have and, and just really scores high points. Yeah. And so gentlemen, what we're doing here for you guys on this episode with Rob is to help you level up, to make your life easier. We want to make sure you're showing up the way you need to be showing up, that you're actually showing up in a way that might even be more representative of who you really are. Cause I know mm -hmm. what I hear is a lot of times from the ladies when they say, Oh, he didn't try. And then I talk to the guys, a lot of them are like, you know, I gave up or it's too hard or this and that. And the other thing, it's not that hard. You just got to get expert help. And that's what we're doing this year. Gentlemen, we're bringing the experts in to make your life easier to make sure you have this information. Somebody like Rob can help you style out your wardrobe. So that no matter where you go and you only have to put any thought into it, he's actually gonna make your life easier. He can set it up and show you what you can coordinate, what goes together, so that you don't even have to think about it. You just get in your closet and go, bam, 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 you go out there, and now you're already making a statement because you're expressing yourself in your own kind of fashion because he's going to exactly. choose things that you choose and then set it up so that you can walk out the door really simply putting on something that's higher echelon, you know, a higher value than what you had before. And so take this man's advice and listen to what he has to say, gentlemen. <laughs> now guys Thank like you. me and jason like guys like jason and i we speak from stage sometimes and we oh. you know we we speak professionally we know a lot of entrepreneurial kind of people speakers authors coaches all those kind of types of folks if somebody is speaking from stage um mm. how should they present themselves good question great question and i was thinking about this yesterday too i um I'd like to say, I think, it, you know, you have to know your audience for sure. Uh, that that will definitely help. You know, if I'm standing up there uh, giving a presentation to, um, you know, an association of lawyers or doctors or professionals, uh, you know, CPAs, I'm certainly going to step up the wardrobe. I probably will wear a suit and tie. Uh, you know, a lot of these conferences that that are going on, you know, with IT professionals or software or other technology, can step that down a little, of course. I think a nice dress shirt, first of all, well-fitting, tucked in uh, still would be good. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and and maybe, you know, a sweater on top of that, like I, I talked about, a, a wool, full zip front, a uh, very classy look, uh, maybe, you know, a, a nice brighter color. Traditionally, I see a lot of guys getting up on stage and they're very dark colors. That That's okay, but I'd like to see a little bit of that, you know, a lighter blue, for example. Um, you know, on a, on a, you know, different color shirt, say a pink or an orange, or, you know, just maybe some more color. I just see, I think guys tend to, oh, I got to be on stage. So I got to wear something dark. Yeah, that's not really the case. So I think that's, uh, first of all, know your audience and then select something. First of all, that fits well, great fabric and, um, and, and go from there. So usually what I see though, are, uh, you know, some sport coats without ties perfectly fine again depending on the audience 
Well, you know, since most of our audience is men, uh, well, sometimes, uh, we'll say salmon. It doesn't have to be pink. It's, it can be salmon or coral. There you go. Perfect. It'll be all right. So yes. those, those, those are those colors Peach. that brighten up your day. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Is fuchsia is fuchsia pink or purple? <laughs> it's pink it's like in my eyes. Right? But, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes, and we have that. Just curious. If you like. <laughs> yeah, you want, you, want so, your fuchsia, uh, you want your fuchsia like 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 uh, suit before you get out there with the hat and the cane. I'm gonna know, give me eh, go a little dumb and dumber style. That's a, that's <laughs> that's a great pivot, man. That's a great pivot because <laughs> I decided, you know, here as I turn fifty, I'm gonna go ahead and invest in me a custom suit. Somebody once told me that once you get a custom suit. And once you wear a suit that was tailored and made just for you, like you'll never forget what that feeling is like. So I'm like, man, I'm excited to maybe do this thing. So what is the process like if I, I mean, not I mean, what is the process like if a guy wants to get a custom tailored suit made? Yeah. Do we lose you? Are we having technical difficulties? Somebody called him. They're trying to get their suit made. <clears throat> yeah, I think somebody was like, "I want me, I want to shoot right now." Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the joys of modern technology makes everything easier as long as it's working. Nice, nice. But dude, I you know, I, it hit me yesterday though, just the the whole idea of showing up well. Oh, there you go. Try again. Can you hear me now? Yeah, there you are. Okay, great. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, sorry, repeat the question there, Kirk. I, I had a little interruption. So, so you know, as I as I look forward to getting my custom suit made, um, what is the process if somebody wants to reach out? What is the process? We're going to give you a contact info here in a minute, but right. what's the process like if somebody wants to get a custom suit made? Mm -hmm. A man. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, yeah, I come to them uh, either a home, office, a neutral location. I take twelve to fourteen measurements depending on what they're looking for. Um, get an idea of what kind of style they like to portray, right? Who are they, uh, again, meeting with? Who are they seeing? What's their, their occupation? Uh, where are they looking to wear this garment? Maybe it's a special occasion. And, um, and we go from there, uh, get an idea of, again, their style, what they like. Do they want it to be slim fit, trim fit, you know, somewhat looser? Do they want more traditional cut? Uh, do they want it to be, you know, allowing for some, some movement, right? Uh, do they travel a lot? So these are questions that I ask that, uh, you know, will help me guide them. Then I narrow down the choices. I have, you know, probably 300 fabrics to choose from. And so based on that, and, you know, then we look at, you know, do you want to have a, a good suit and also a great shirt uh, to go with it? Also, what I find is usually when guys get a new suit, they need a new belt because they've had the same one for 15 or 20 years. It's starting to wear and, you know, it's got different holes poked in it from either gaining or losing weight, right? So those are the kind of things that I'll, I'll sort of guide them toward. Man, that, I never thought about it. You're right. I wear, I got a brown belt <laughs> and that brown like <laughs> weaved belt is all like the one part where I normally, it's all stretched out and all that kind of stuff. I never, man, I never thought about some of that stuff and including a, a shirt, man. There's, so there's a such thing as a tailored button down shirt, like it's tailored dress shirt. Absolutely. Yep. And those dress shirts can be, you know, traditional cotton dress shirt or like we have the, the knits. Uh, knits are becoming very more popular, like a long sleeve polo but with more of a, a dress shirt collar, uh, whether it's got, you know, three, four, five buttons or a full placket of buttons. Uh, those are, those are becoming much more in, in style at the moment. It must be amazing to have, you know, a tailored shoe, but not just a jacket and pants, but the, the shirt as well. And then to have somebody help you accessorize. I know we talked about this last night, but maybe less is more with the accessories. I think is what you said. Cause I have seen a lot of guys, they don't accessorize and then somebody tells them they need to accessorize. And then after a while they over accessorize and they start looking like an old rock star with <laughs> like a pirate with all the bracelets and necklaces and bandanas and things. So that's something you can help guys with as well. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's all about their style, right? I don't want to change someone from, you know, what they traditionally like and how they look uh, necessarily for, just because I say they have to, again, it's all about the client. Uh, but I want to, again, coexist and, and complement with what they have. And yeah, maybe make recommendations like, yeah, the, you know, the five bracelets might be a little too much or the, 
you know, the pocket square plus the lapel pin plus the, you know, uh, you know, maybe maybe a little too too much. We want to want to keep that sort of less is more content. So yeah. Yeah, see, gentlemen, this is expert advice. He's telling you what to do, what not to do. Now, speaking of something we brought you brought up last night, I want to bring up again because not only are you helping guys and getting them a custom suit, but one of the things I ran into was I bought my suits and got them fitted, and then I outgrew them a little bit because, um, yeah, I'm not even going to talk about that. <laughs> but one of the things you said was that you have a couple, there, there's a little more leeway. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, as far as uh, fit and feel. Um, that's definitely where we come into play. So making sure that the guy has uh, enough room in the jacket and also to fit for how they look right now because all of our garments can be adjusted, usually depending on the, the, the fabric, uh, but all of our garments can be either let out or taken in up to two inches. So if you have to make changes down the road because you've lost or gained weight, we can do that at a local tailor and it's, and it's not expensive. See, you don't have to buy a new suit during the holidays, gentlemen, mm-hmm. you don't, or, or get it taken in after you get, go mm-hmm. talk to this man and be like, there you go. Mm-hmm. Go eat some Turkey. And you don't have to wait until you lose weight or wait until you get to wherever you want to get to before you can get fitted, suited and booted. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Fit, fit for how you look now. And that's, that's what I do. And then, Hey, if we need to make changes, I absolutely can do that. All right. Yeah, so I noticed, big, big I noticed question. when you did, I noticed when you did my measurements, I'm a 44 beefy. <laughs> yeah. I think you added the beefy in there. I think that's. Oh, man. He wrote it down. He wrote down. He wrote down 44 beefy. He wrote beefy. See, I, I, I've, I've heard slim. I've heard short. I've heard long. I've heard regular. No. No. Where, where did beefy, beefy come in? Hey, See, man, I think you're you making know, it up. It's, it's a new uh, a new way of measuring. Yeah, oh, man, it's, that's it's, right. It, I'm a, it's a Kirk I'm a new category. I got you. I'm a new I category. Yeah. It's like husky, right? Uh-huh. Husky, uh-huh. husky but sexy okay husky yeah. with gravy is what you're saying husky with gravy <laughs> <laughs> biscuits and gravy, biscuits and gravy. so biscuits as we're kind of bringing gravy. this in i know there's some questions that the gentlemen have for you rob so if you want to get a, a custom suit you want to have the, the measurements done you want to have all stuff what are we looking at ballpark i know one of the things you said last night really depends on the material because i know i have my dreams on that tom cruise blue shark skin suit thing but that's right. out of my ballpark right now but mm-hmm. what, what would a normal regular joe like us be looking at yeah i would say to plan on for a nice uh, you know a nice wool suit again these are three season or four season suits uh that for that you know jacket and trousers uh, not necessarily the best but you're planning on about 750 to start uh, and that can include things like working buttonholes, you know, contrast thread, and, uh, you know, your choice of liner color on the jacket. Um, so just ways to step up. There are little, you know, incremental things you can add here or there, but that's a, a good baseline for, for a nice suit from us. And then to add, if you did a custom shirt, um, you know, between sort of a starting point about 125, uh, between 125 and 150. Of course, you can go up on, on both of those items, but that's a, a good idea to, to have in mind so you can add in my secret james bond pocket right in my jacket get yes. those secret pockets yeah. nobody can find yeah, i like that yeah that's actually a good point because in colorado a lot of people have concealed carry permits mm. and so a lot of people will carry and so if they want to carry while they're wearing their suit is that a thing yeah absolutely so we allow for that so we allow for measurements in what we call the the, the waist and hip area and so if you do have a concealed carry it's not going to be uh looking bulky or uh, obtrusive so yeah definitely we allow for that nice all right hey, I I heard, I heard, I, wait, wait 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 i heard the secret right. service has i heard the secret service has bulletproof suits can i get what? one of them a little kevlar suit no like the, it's like a business suit but it's bulletproof well that's what i mean it's made out of kevlar right or something like that i don't know yeah, i don't, I don't mean, know we don't have kevlar. how much one of them go for you know, <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> sorry all right sorry i didn't mean to take that left go ahead jbk well, I was just gonna say, I mean, Kevlar that got me thinking now. Kevlar suits, that's gotta be like a hundred grand because Kevlar's not is not cheap. But anyway, so how can guys get a hold of you now that they know that you're gonna fix their life, fix their dating life, they're gonna make their life easier? How can they get a hold of you? Who they call, where do they find you on Yelp? Yep. Yeah, you can uh my phone number first of all, three zero three. I am in the Denver area, three zero three eight one eight four seven seven nine and rob.co at jhilburnpartner.com and that's rob with two b's 
you can see for you. And uh, also, uh, if you go to robcope.jhilburn.com, it will show you my my personal URL. Is that H I L B U R N or B O R N? Yes, correct. B U R N. It's right above his head. Why? Why you gotta be throwing me out <laughs> like that, man? I'm looking in two different directions, you know, man. Hey Rob, we went to public school, man. We went to public school, man. You know, so, <laughs> but do you know, I got to put the dot? Do I got to put the dot and put it between the J and the H, like on the sign? No. no. Okay. See, see, I'm asking questions. See, public school yeah, over here. Right. Come you're on, right. Now. you're right. You're right. You're so right. I'm gonna put. Right. I'm, I'm put. I'm putting your information up in the chat to make it easier, and then people can find you. Is there a website or anything they need to go to? That's uh, that's it. Those are the the three ways. So, and uh, you can start it from there. I missed one. I got two. I got your phone number and your email. And I think oh, that email. Yeah. So, yeah it's, it's just Rob Cope. No, no dot between that. And then dot J Hilburn dot com. See, I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be good, public but school. public school, I'm telling public you, man. School, man, thank you. Public Sorry. school. Man, I'm telling you, Rob, man, this, this is dope, man. And, and again, the whole point of this is because the world and especially women, if you have a woman in your life, will treat you however you show up in whatever kind of way, whatever kind of way, whatever that looks like, man, however you want to spin that, that's that's the way it is as a man, period. Mm -hmm. We don't get the benefit of the doubt. We walk in as a man. It's about how you show up, which is why Coach Prime says, look good, feel good, feel good, play good, play good, pay good, period. And so this is about helping men level up in the area of their fashion, in the area of how you show up, how we show up. And so, Rob, we want to thank you so much, man, for helping us in that. And and uh, man, obviously, you know, man, we we uh, we we uh, we hope to have you back, man. We thank you for being part of the the Mad Men Marvel Avengers. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be in touch. You know, we 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 learn from those we bring on. We we you know shop with those we bring on because you know I'm I'm not gonna trust anybody with those tape measures around my my Tinder bed. So you know I, I gotta <laughs> yeah, have man. some trust with you, man. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Right. Make sure you call on Rob. Check out jhilburn.com. You can get some ideas on, on what you're getting into and make sure you update your wardrobe, gentlemen. Get it, get out there and look sharp. Get some snap yeah. in that. And yeah. on that note, gentlemen, yeah. we're going to bring this plane in. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being a part of the show, and we'll see you next time. Madman, out. Out.